bruise. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. <laughs> Continuing on. This is uh, is this the winner side, I believe? No, oh, loser side. side. My mistake, loser side. You got that hashtag Rob Squad, aka <laughs> Mr. Eric. Did he not? Did he take out Coney to get here? Uh, yeah, Mr. Eric did take out Coney to wow. get to this point. So certainly a solid player. He's gonna go against against uh, Knight. Yep. Uh, he's repping GGA. Do we know what that stands for? No, I don't actually. <laughs> but whatever it is, they picked a good guy to sponsor. That's for sure. Cause Knight did a lot of work here with that Warp Luma, the last set that he played against JJ Rockets. And JJ Rockets is playing quite well. Oh yeah. But Knight, man, he put the pressure on the Luma was flying, mm. and it was a wrap for that Diddy Kong. But so can he deal with the Trixies, the movement of Mr. Eric? Indeed. You I do a little button check you here. You know, I could see this potentially being a, a, a bit of a slower paced game, seeing as they both have uh, a, a, a pretty particular heavy neutrals. You know, uh, or sorry, zone oriented neutrals. That's probably the better way of describing yeah, it. Yeah, Mr. Eric is kind of an aggressive player, so I think in the beginning we will see that, what, we're, what you're talking about. And as the damage raises, he'll start to see opportunities to start getting that nair in. Uh, he likes that four there, quick poke, boom. And then trying to go with that custom up B, the real fast uh, burner into the up air. Rob's up air so good. Yeah, you can expect that up air to be comboed uh, from the down throw. Yep. And it's going to KO, uh, I think, probably when the percentage reaches around like 90. Sometimes, yeah, depending on the stage, uh, depending on the weight of the character against Rosalina, I would give it around, if he has rage, maybe 90. Uh, outside of that, I would say if Mr. Eric was at, say, like 50%, that that bad boy would kill at maybe like 110. Mm, yeah. I would give it that. That move is really strong. Yeah, well, tell so. me about Rosalina as a character. Uh, how is she like considered more on the heavier side? Is she? Uh, no, she's actually kind of light, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Luma is the real annoyance. Oh, yes. When it comes to that Luma respawning every time you kill her after a few seconds. And uh, just Rosalina uses her to her advantage so much. A lot of time when you get grabbed, uh, you know, things can be very unsafe even on hit. Because of Luma, you bring up a really good point. Especially now, I'm thinking uh, a hypothetical scenario: end of the game, uh, near the end of the game. Let's say Mr. Eric goes for the grab and he gets it. Luma can interrupt that grab and make it so that he couldn't carry out the down throw up air that he would be looking for. But anyways, here we go. Game number one on Omega Battlefield. All right, so Mr. Eric already with 35% on him, but very good punish right there with the dash attack. There's that forward air poke. Nice. Oh man, Luma coming into play, just continuing that string that GGA Knight was incorporating. Yeah, Mr. Eric flying. There's that Luma Warp Knight, really good with that Luma Warp. Is that a custom by chance? Yes, or? it is. So tell me a little bit about, I guess, I guess the specific set that she's running with. Uh, well, there's a Luma shot, that like Falco laser type of like star bit shot. Yeah. And then the Luma Warp, uh, which warps Luma a certain distance. And you can, you know, do your thing, act out of it. Also, the the enhanced Luma, that big thing right mm -hmm. there, uh, pulling in. I think it has a hitbox as Luma gets big, and also can pull in items to your feet. Wow! So that's just an upgrade, I guess, of the standard down B, isn't it? Yep, it might be. Yeah, the wow. standard down B, you can grab it while it's, uh, you know, floating around. But if you do gravitational pull to something, the item actually disappears. Ah. If I'm not mistaken. I got you. Wow. But you can grab it before it disappears. Knight almost getting that up air in with Luma. Yeah, GGA Knight. He somehow has to find a way around Luma so he can get to Rosalina. It's making it so hard. You're right. The, the usage of the warp in particular yep. is really making it difficult for Mr. Eric to get through some of these walls that GGA Knight is setting up. Oh my gosh. And there's that down B. So it looks like if Luma isn't synced, it turns into gravitational pull. Wow. Luma warp into the up air. Oh my gosh! And a forward smash underneath the edge. Oh! There goes Luma and there goes Rosalina. Wow. Raising the roof. The Rob Squad is loud and proud. Alright, Knight getting the up air in, but Mr. Eric fighting out. There's a simple combo right there. Knight putting on the pressure. And look at that blink on Rob. He has that special laser. He's going to use it right there, but that was a nice power shield that we saw from Knight. Wow, Gyro blocking the Luma shot, the grounded Luma shot. Very interesting. 
Maybe Mr. Egg is going to pick up on that. Perhaps just throw that out to the center, making it so that it's going to be a lot more difficult uh, for GGA Knight to use that. Alright. Oh, Mr. Eric thought he had this gyro. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, that custom recovery gives him so much more mobility. Yeah. It? Yeah, it really does. Well, one thing you have to watch out for is we saw this on the first KO, but I'm noticing the Omega form of Battlefield actually has really thin edges. So it looks like you can hit through the stage really easy. That's a good point. It did come into play, didn't it, with that forward smash for yeah. the first KO. Right now, Mr. Eric sitting at 91%. He does get the down throw into up air. I'm surprised. I, oh, I guess he recalled Luma right back. Yep. That's why he didn't have an opportunity to maybe attempt an attack on her. Very nice, Mr. Eric playing quite well, especially with the circumstances of dealing with this Luma flying everywhere. Now this is when you have to put the pressure on Rosalina. Luma has got an up smash read, and Mr. Eric fighting through the barrage, getting the clutch up smash and getting game one. And you can Very see in good. the crowd, he's even nodding towards his supporters, like, yep. I got this, I got this, I'm not letting down the Rob squad. And Mr. Eric is a very confident player. Very confident, and you see it in this play. He is not scared to go for that big hit, especially when the opportunity even slightly presents itself. He makes it happen. So, shout out to Mr. Eric. Great up smash read there. Knight playing very well. It's not like Knight was playing really bad. He just got red at the end, ended up costing him the match. Now, going into this next match, I uh, want to see Mr. Eric use more of that gyro to block that Luma shot as we started to see at the end of the match and I want to see Knight trying to take advantage of that ah. being in a certain spacing thinking that Mr. Eric's going to throw the gyro and do Luma Ward to try and get a punish on that. That would be really interesting. Yep. Let's see what strategies and yep. what adaptations we see from Knight. We're going to go back to Battlefield but this time it's not Omega. Alright, there's the beep to boop combo. Uh, that beep boop. <laughs> Binary, dude. Oh my gosh, the long range. That's like reminiscent of when you're a little kid and you play like melee. And you do missile to charge shot with Samus. I was thinking about those Halo days with that Spartan laser. Oh yeah. <laughs> Raising the roof a bit. <laughs> Very nice, Mr. Eric already putting on so much pressure here. The Rod's projectiles. Knight has to stop rolling. Uh, I really enjoy uh, the strategy that Eric is going for. It Woo! seems like he's trying to get rid of Luma and put on some steady projective pressure. And now that Luma is gone, he's going in. He has his opportunity to potentially close out this stock. He just needs a grab. Oh, oh my God! Smash. Beautiful Yo. Tama. <laughs> he made me stand up right now because this man, that was beautiful. That oh. whole stock was played wonderfully. Exceptionally well played. And it starts off before the blast even happens, doesn't yeah. it? Wow, that was really, really good. And he has an opportunity, so he's going to take out Luma immediately. This is his chance to go. Oh, never mind. I thought that uh, that was going to be a dead Luma. I apologize. Close, though. She is dead now. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a dead star bit. You hear that? Yeah! And <laughs> Luma is out of there. I'm not sure if that was Luma or, <laughs> uh, or a witch's cat, but either way, <laughs> we're going to go with it. <laughs> oh, wow. Mr. Child. Eric is on fire right oh, now. Oh, my, my goodness. God. Wow. That, so yo, body. It's a wrap. That was <laughs> disgusting. That was slamming him straight <laughs> out of this tournament. Body. Mr. Eric advancing to losers <laughs> semifinals. <laughs> to losers quarters. Just kidding. Losers quarters. Oh my god. I got so hyped. I got I got mixed up <laughs> in my bracket in how much hype I had. It's losers quarters. Yo, but still amazing.